Vyvanse, Listexamphetamine dimesylate, is a stimulant medication for the treatment of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, for patients aged 6 and above. Vyvanse is indicated for the treatment of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD, in patients ages 6 and above. Vyvanse is not indicated or recommended for weight loss. Use of other sympathomimetic drugs for weight loss has been associated with serious cardiovascular adverse events. The safety and effectiveness of Vyvanse for the treatment of obesity have not been established. CNS stimulants, amphetamines, and methylphenidate-containing products, including Vyvanse, have a high potential for abuse and dependence. Assess the risk of abuse prior to prescribing and monitor for signs of abuse and dependence while on therapy. Vyvanse has the following contraindications. Known hypersensitivity to amphetamines or other ingredients of Vyvanse, anaphylactic reactions, Stevens-Johnson syndrome, angioedema, and urticaria have occurred. Use with monoamine oxidase inhibitors, MAOIs, or within 14 days of stopping MAOIs, including MAOIs such as linazolid or intravenous methylene blue, because of an increased risk of hypertensive crisis. Vyvanse, or Listexamphetamine dimesylate, is an inactive, water-soluble prodrug of dextroamphetamine, in which D-amphetamine is bonded to L-lysine, a naturally occurring amino acid. In general, prodrugs are pharmacologically inert chemical derivatives that are converted in vivo into active drug molecules. The clinical relevance of the prodrug formulation of Listexamphetamine has not been established. The mode of therapeutic action in ADHD is not known. Prior to and during treatment, assess for the presence of cardiac disease. Avoid use in patients with known structural cardiac abnormalities, cardiomyopathy, serious heart arrhythmia, coronary artery disease, and other serious heart problems. Sudden death, stroke, and myocardial infarction have been reported in adults with CNS stimulants at recommended doses, as well as sudden death in children and adolescents with structural cardiac abnormalities and other serious heart problems while taking CNS stimulants at recommended doses. Further evaluate patients who develop exertional chest pain, unexplained syncope, or arrhythmias while taking Vyvanse. CNS stimulants cause increases in blood pressure, mean increase about 2 to 4 millimeters of mercury, and heart rate mean increase about 3 to 6 beats per minute. Monitor all patients for tachycardia and hypertension. After oral administration, Listexamphetamine is rapidly absorbed from the GI tract. Listexamphetamine is converted to dextroamphetamine and L-lysine, primarily in blood due to the hydrolytic activity of red blood cells. Dextroamphetamine is a non-catecholamine sympathomimetic amine with central nervous system stimulant activity. Amphetamines block the reuptake of the catecholamines norepinephrine and dopamine into the presynaptic neuron and increase the release of these monoamines into the extraneuronal space. The parent drug, Listexamphetamine, does not bind to the sites responsible for the reuptake of norepinephrine and dopamine in vitro. The clinical significance of in vitro data is unknown. The clinical relevance of the prodrug formulation of Listexamphetamine has not been established. In summary, Listexamphetamine, a prodrug of dextroamphetamine, is rapidly absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract into the circulatory system where it undergoes a conversion to dextroamphetamine primarily in the blood and then passes to the central nervous system. The mode of therapeutic action in ADHD is not known. Exacerbation of pre-existing psychosis. Vyvanse may exacerbate symptoms of behavior disturbance and thought disorder in patients with a pre-existing psychotic disorder. Induction of a manic episode in patients with bipolar disorder may induce a mixed manic episode in patients with bipolar disorder. Prior to initiating treatment, screen for risk factors for developing a manic episode. 
For example, comorbid or history of depressive symptoms or a family history of suicide, bipolar disorder, and depression. New psychotic or manic symptoms. At recommended doses may cause psychotic or manic symptoms. For example, hallucinations, delusional thinking, or mania in patients with no prior history of psychotic illness or mania. Discontinue if symptoms occur. CNS stimulants have been associated with weight loss and slowing of growth rate in pediatric patients. Monitor weight and height. Treatment may need to be interrupted in children not growing or gaining weight as expected. CNS stimulants, including Vyvanse, are associated with peripheral vasculopathy, including Raynaud's phenomenon. Signs and symptoms are usually intermittent and mild. Very rare sequelae include digital ulceration and or soft tissue breakdown. Observe patients during treatment for new numbness, pain, skin color change, or sensitivity to temperature in fingers and toes. Further evaluation may be required, including referral. Increased risk of serotonin syndrome when co-administered with serotonergic agents, for example, SSRIs, SNRIs, triptans, and CYP2D6 inhibitors, but also during overdosage situations. Discontinue Vyvanse if it occurs and initiate supportive treatment. Swallowing oral medications can be difficult for some patients. Only Vyvanse offers five administration options for patients with ADHD. To tailor administration to meet the individual needs of appropriate patients. Chewable, mixable, and swallowable. Vyvanse is available in six chewable tablet strengths. Chewable Vyvanse tablets must be chewed thoroughly before swallowing. Take the entire chewable tablet daily. Do not divide the dose. Vyvanse capsule contents can be mixed with water, orange juice, or yogurt. To administer, open capsule and mix contents until completely dispersed. Stir to break apart any compacted powder. Consume immediately. Do not store. Take full contents of capsule. Do not divide the dose. Capsules may be swallowed whole and should be taken daily. Do not divide the dose. Vyvanse is available in seven capsule strengths with a recommended starting dose of 30 milligrams once daily in the morning. Avoid afternoon doses due to the potential for insomnia. The dose may be adjusted in increments of 10 mg or 20 mg at approximately weekly intervals. The maximum dose is 70 mg per day. Capsules and chewable tablets may be taken with or without food and are interchangeable on a unit per unit or milligram per milligram basis. For example, a 30 mg capsule for a 30 mg chewable tablet. In patients with severe renal impairment, the maximum dose should not exceed 50 mg per day. In patients with end-stage renal disease, the maximum recommended dose is 30 mg per day. Prior to treatment, assess for cardiac disease. After prescribing, keep prescription records, educate patients about abuse, monitor for signs of abuse and overdose, and reevaluate the need for Vyvanse use. The most common adverse reactions, greater than or equal to 5% and at least twice the rate of placebo reported in clinical trials were children aged 6 to 12, decreased appetite, insomnia, upper abdominal pain, irritability, vomiting, decreased weight, nausea, dry mouth, and dizziness, adolescents aged 13 to 17, decreased appetite, insomnia, and decreased weight, adults, decreased appetite, insomnia, dry mouth, diarrhea, nausea, anxiety, and anorexia. Vyvanse may cause fetal harm. Breastfeeding is not recommended during Vyvanse treatment. For more information, please visit www.vyvansepro.com.